Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul for you guys. There are three subscriptions, so I'll leave those to last, although I'm sure you've seen all three of them surely, but yeah, let's just get straight into the haul. Everything will be time stamped down below and all the shops are linked as well. So let's get started. So the first one that I wanted to show was a new White Deer stationery order and her package and her orders always come packaged so beautifully. The really pretty card and the little um, antler. So inside she even has a separate little bag with little, these little deer prints. How cute is that? Um, with the freebie. So the freebie I got was on glossy and it is foiled and so pretty. I think um, I saw Jacenna from Planet Sophisticate to get this one as well and she loved it and it is very her I think. Um, so you have this little tab that says things to do and it's, this is rose gold. Yeah, it's rose gold foil. You can see there. It gets some little icons as well as a little plan with a bee, a pack which is really pretty, and a little glittery teardrop. So that was the freebie. Now I just got some foil icons. These were limited edition, so I'm afraid they're not in the shop anymore. But she does do misfit grab bags and a lot of the limiteds end up in there so you might be able to find them in a grab bag. But um, yeah, I just I loved the shape of these bows. I'll show you up super close. Just look how pretty these bows are. These will be perfect for the top of boxes and this is the blush colorway. So you have a dark lilac grey, a grey with the sort of, these are both sort of pink toned. Some pink, some lighter pink, and some cream up here. And that is just in the gold foil. Perfect and glossy. And then I got it in silver as well. Because I was mostly collecting gold and silver. Although I don't know now if I should start collecting rose gold now that my silver's built up. We will see. Because like a lot of washi and stuff is rose gold. But I don't know, I don't like rose gold as much as gold, but then I got the um just the normal boat circle icons and this one is bunny. So you have sort of a really light, 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 light pink. Then you have two different shades of mauve pink, then you have the greys down there, similar to blush, but this is more pink. Yeah. This is more warm tone and this is more cool tone, I think. I have those in gold. And she puts them between wax paper like Clever Girl Crafts. And then I got this silver version of that. I just really wanted some pretty neutrals. And I loved both of these. They're both gorgeous. I love them. So that was my little order from White Deer Stationery. She has great foiled items, so definitely check her out. She's also Canadian. So easier for Australians and other international people to get. Next, I got two orders from Two Little Bees. Um, I bought Live Simply a while ago. It's a bit of a story and bloom. So um, luckily, her work goes really fast. And you have to be on Two Little Bees Facebook group, basically, to find out when new releases are coming in. She can only make limited items um, due to really, it's just her. <laughs> And you know, she has kids and she has study as well, I think. So she's busy. But she does have pre-sales for a limited time after her new releases are up. And I, I'm always able to catch her pre-sale, which I'm really happy about. And I obviously live simply, you've probably seen a long time ago, but I finally got mine. And I did get it at the same time as the very first release, like the pre-sale of that. But um, I bought the cheaper shipping and it got shipped to, uh, it went to the international 
distribution center in America, whatever. And apparently they print reprint the labels there and they put the label of my Live Simply kit onto a different envelope. <laughs> and I ended up with that instead, which uh, you would have seen a few holes about. I, I mentioned that and I ended up with a bracelet, which I was able to give to a friend because that shop owner let me keep it. Anyway, luckily the kit was sent back to Maria by USPS. So she didn't have to go out of pocket to print me another one, um, which really sucks every time that happens. So she was able to resend it to me, but it took a while. I mean, she's busy, so I understand. So she threw in the Moonstruck mini kit for me for all the trouble. I'm just so glad I finally have it, and I'm not using it until our spring, which is a few months away. So I'm happy about that, and then I just got Bloom normally. <laughs> But I think uh, the more expensive shipping is worth it, to me honestly. Like, this is the kind of problems you have with the cheaper untracked shipping. It just, it goes a bit weird. <laughs> but let's finish up with that story, because I finally have the stickers. It's all good. So let's go through this kit quickly. I mean, people have already planned with this, so I'll just get through it. So with the Live Simply kit, uh, so this bookmark, it's a nice thick cardboard and it's got a slide sheen to it so it's really professional and nice. And you just got some of the artwork there and on the back the flowers, really pretty. I also got this journaling card which is, um, which is really just card stock, just nice papery one and oh uh, look how pretty that is, like with the camera and the plan and the... Oh, uh, it's just so pretty. I love that. Definitely going into a future setup. And then we got an extra little deco sheet here with planners, bows, coffee cups, writer's card cards, and more planners in the pen. Really pretty. This, I got this kit on glossy paper. So these are the full boxes, and she gives you plenty of them, and how gorgeous are they? You also have the bows cut out at the top, these individual bows, as well as these ones down the bottom as a long strip. Ugh, but it's just so pretty. I love this pen, this little desk. I haven't really been able to look at it in person, obviously, so this is my first time and it's gorgeous. I actually really love this artist. I think it's interesting. Then they're actually using a pencil for the outlines, which makes it really interesting to look at. Then you have the functional sheet with a functional sheet with long flags, short flags, some um, more decorative headers, icons, and bows, and a whole bunch of gorgeous deco. I love that. And again, the bows are cut out, top and bottom. Then you have the Another functional sheet with a weekly box, three heart checklists, more of those headers, um, some more decorative functional icons. So you get the planner there in the bag, and I love this um, Instagram icon and this camera and the coffee cup. And then you have some little icons here with Etsy and money and little flags, kettlebells. You have some more he um, headers here. Half box, she's really like filled in the sheet so you get a plenty of stuff. I love these new little build juice. Then you get headers, little things and um, more decorative headers in case you don't want the words. And she gives you enough. Um, the clipboards, so pretty. Look at these half boxes. I love these little glitter little outlines. Then you have some more headers, date covers, appointment labels. Decorative um, checklist chest uh, <laughs> chest checklist boxes, which would be great uh, using leftovers from this kit. But I think you need some really um. I would probably try and use like my smallest neatest handwriting to make them look pretty enough. You know, you gotta channel Jasenia. <laughs> just just think Jasenia when you write. <laughs> and then the bottom washi with. The um, sort of, you get some strips of normal washi, then more appointment labels, and then two separate strips for the bottom washi. 
which are really cute, as well as another long bow. So that was the Live Simply kit, and I can't wait. I find that like um, two little bow, two little bees basically makes all my favorite spring sets. Like I just want to fill my whole spring with her kits. <laughs> as I tried to do last year as well and I still have some left over so I hoarded my favorite one as I think we all tend to do with two little bees we kind of hoard them so that was Live Simply uh, and then she sent me Moonstruck um, so thank you so much Maria if you're watching I really really appreciate it it is gorgeous and this one is actually a mini kit she decided to do some mini kits because um, some of them are only in mini kits because she doesn't have the time to do full kits of everything. So a mini kit is a good sort of compromise to be able to get all how to use all the art <laughs> that she can. So you get this little extra sheet with the flags weekly and some functional items. And this is on her premium mat which is more papery, but it's really pretty, especially with this set, actually. Kind of like the colors just look really pretty on this mat. Sorry if my camera's a bit too light. Then I got the uh, washi page. Uh, these are perfect for B6 size, and I usually don't buy these, but they're just really pretty all by themselves, even. So the washi page, the full boxes with the celestial art. Uh, it says, what if I fall, but oh my darling, what if you fly? It's just a really pretty soft way that she put this kit together. Then the mini kit, you get some three heart checklists, some deco, habit tracker, half boxes, lots of labels. You get full seven half boxes, weekend and dots. And then you also get all the headers you need except for little things. Because there are no little things. You get the double washi, so you can see this is two separate strips, and then you get some icons up here. So pretty much everything you would need, and then you can just bring in a butt ton of foil, basically. <laughs> uh, but you get everything you need for the sidebar, which is awesome. And yeah, just a really gorgeous, pervy little mini kit that is Moonstruck. Finally, I got Bloom in a separate order, and just this is so gorgeous. Like, it could be really good, really early spring, or even a, an autumn kit. Mm. I think it might have to be an early spring, <laughs> um, but it's really pretty. You get this journaling card, which is like a proper printed one, and you have two sides. Gorgeous, love that. So this is like what the washi sheet looked like for the B6 sort of washi strips. Um, yeah, but as I said, I don't end up buying them. Uh, but we have the full boxes here, and uh, isn't this just? It's gorgeous. It's the same artist as Live Simply. And it's just so pretty. I love this dress and this girl, and the white font with this purple. Ugh. It's perfect. This is the full boxes. Then you get this functional page which actually has these um, really pretty font stickers here instead. So she makes like little tweaks here and there. Then you have these sort of sidebar and um, labels and functional deco. Really pretty. I love these colors. Like this purple, this muted purple is so pretty. Ugh. That's all you can really say. It's just, it's pretty. It's stunning. You just have all the pages here, which are the same as Live Simply. You've got some arrows down here, which are really useful. And the bottom wash here, I love how it's this really dark purple. And then you have these bows. Ugh. No, I just. I love it. So that was the Bloom kit, also in glossy. I think I still prefer the glossy, but um, I don't mind the 
the mat either. It's a nice high quality mat. So that was my orders from... Next we're going to get into the subscription boxes. So the first one is the April Mystery from Scribble Prints Co. And this one is... I always watch these spoilers so... <laughs> No problems for me, but this one is Tangled theme, but more of a modern Tangled. And it was drawn by J. Crew Plans, Jessica. My new fave. <laughs> uh, but this was the posted note. If you subscribe to the full kit, you get a lot more extras for the same price. So although she does bring it to the shop and you can buy all the pieces that goes with it, you get, um, you have to pay extra for those pieces, whereas you get them free uh, when you subscribe. So these are all the free freebies this month. You get the post-it notes and I love these. Oh, uh, I'm totally going to hold these. They're just so perfect. I actually really love Tangled. I was so so happy when they brought princesses back even in 3D, even though I'm a 2D kind of snob. <laughs> then you get the vinyl sticker of the little purple camera, so cute. And then she brought back these little nail polishes in the different spring colours. You have this amazing journaling card, I'm where I'm meant to be. Ugh. Like so, Tangle came out sort of the beginning of Lachlan and I's relationship and we went and saw it at the movies and everything. Like, he puts up with all my Disney love. <laughs> I think he secretly enjoys them a lot, so... But, um, the love song from that between her and Flynn is kind of like our unofficial song. We haven't really chosen a song, but I kind of, whenever I think of I See the Light, I believe it's, I haven't listened to it in a while, um, I think of him, and yeah, so, this is really, really gorgeous, generally card, I'm totally buying a second from the shop, because I need them all, I need to put it everywhere, so Tangled has a lot of feelings for me, <laughs> um, and you get the glitters as well. This is before she changed to fa fancy labels, but still love the pretty glitter. So I was really excited to see this kit because I love Tangled so much. And you know that whole thing of like three characters that are like you that went, went around like a meme. And one of the characters I chose was Rapunzel because I'm kind of like that. I'm a total daydreamer, love art. I'm always in, stuck inside, I'm such a homebody, and I just really, like, she re her character resonated a lot with me. And if you're, if, if you're interested, my other characters were Jane from Daria, because there's, I have more of a sarcastic side to myself as well, cynical. And also Linda from Bob's Burgers, the mum, because I can be a bit like that sometimes too. So those three characters, I kind of see myself as being, but you know. Maybe I'm just full of crap, but <laughs> Rapunzel is totally one of them. I love her. So we have the freebie. Love that. I love these colours, the purple and the yellow. I mean, well, of course they're going to look good together. They're complementary. Uh, spelling with an E, not an I. <laughs> you know, they, they're supposed to go together, so they look really gorgeous, but it's so, so bright and fun. It makes me think of April, April 2016, uh, Mystery with the Raindrops, uh, April. I don't know if she meant to do that, but I remember that I had yellow and purple, and I freaking died because I wasn't subbed, and I subbed for the May one because I fell in love with that, but yeah, I love that raindrop, <laughs> rain kit for April then. That's how long I've been subscribed. Next month uh, is my third May monthly, my third May mystery, so been around. I love the glitter in these full box checklists. Oh, uh, look at these. Oh, uh, look at them. I like how bright and airy they are. Go live your dreams. <laughs> I love that because in the movie, you know, Flynn's like, I will. And he's like, no, yours. Yours are stupid. 
Flynn's dreams are stupid at first. <laughs> Actually, no. Being alone on an island with lots of money sounds pretty good. Uh, we have the castle, the, like the tower, I mean, the little shoes, they're so cute with the glitter. Flynn's bag, which would have the, which had the crown in it, the little lantern scene where they're singing that song. Little Polaroids, uh, I love the hair and the glasses and the daisies. So pretty. This is such a good job, Jess. I love it. And these stars, oh, so pretty. I thought I'd just chat over this because you guys have seen an SBC kit because I live for them. They're in every single hole. <laughs> They're like my mainstay, so I thought I'd just ramble on about my love of Tangled and Rapunzel. I mean, I, don't know, I say I'm more of a 2D snob, but I still love the Disney 3D films. But as Andrea angrily knows, I'm not really into the Pixar ones, I'm more into the Disney Animation Studio. That's because I kind of like stand them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> not stand, but fan for them, so I don't know if I'm giving myself away while staying, saying stand, but I love this bottom watch with the flowers and her hair, so pretty! Uh, and this gold and this purple together, Ugh. I just, I die. I'm just so overdramatic about this kit, but it speaks to me! I love it. So that is the April mystery and all of my blubbering on about Disney Animation Studios, but yeah, if you haven't watched this, you gotta go do it and remember that Rapunzel is me! <laughs> uh, I'm terrible. <laughs> My next subscription is Simply Watercolor Co. And I can't remember if this is April or March. I don't know. So, <laughs> uh, it's probably March. But anyway. I've been subscribed to the foil mini kit for a while and I, I actually have cancelled because I just I have so many kits you guys and I had to give I'm still getting one more in the mail it was just shipped recently so I'm looking forward to that one but I think that's my last one for a bit. Uh, but you get these freebie with it, this is the extra big one, really nice. Then the sub freebie this time was this really nice sheet of white with gold foil items. So you have little dot boxes. These are all tiny little individual hearts and asterisks. Habit trackers, sorry, <laughs> bows that are cut out um, to do. Sweet and simple hashtag foil squad and then heart checklist. So really pretty, really nice sub freebie there. And then I also got the um, bow headers with the matching patterns of the kit, really cool. They are actually all cut out headers with the bow foiled bows. So I'm looking forward to trying those out eventually. But then we have the kit here which is part art and part photographs. But the thing is I'm just not really into photo kits. That's why I pretty much cancelled because I wasn't sure when I'd be getting art or foil. But I, th uh, I don't think they come to the shop. I know the rain one did, but. So the mini kit comes with the, um, the full boxes with half of the checklist. And the rest of the checklist are later on in the kit. But you get four of the boxes of foil. Do you have, but first, macaron, uh, sweet, simple things in life. Kindness changes everything and just... These decorated patterns, really pretty in gold. And then the rest is sort of macaron themed. So you got some photos as well as some art, really pretty. Really light, good for spring. Then um, you don't have a foiled bottom washi this time, but it just has boxes of macarons and little stars and you do get foiled headers here with the macarons. And some foiled, bits of foiled deco. They're just foiled a little bit. <laughs> um, and then you have to do in today headers as well. And this is on glossy, by the way. Then the third page, you have the weekend banner, the rest of your checklist, quarter boxes, half boxes, some weekly headers, 
some um, checklists for your sidebar, have a tracker, a little point on label and two flags for the neutral. So that is the, I think it's live in color. It says live in color there, but I'm not, yes, that's what all the pages say, live in color, unless that's just what her logo is, but anyway. <laughs> This is the uh, mystery kit that she just had out last month, I think. So I think it's March. Um, and it's a really cute little mini kit. Finally, we have this beast. The Simply Gilded Washi Box. It's called the Carousel Box. I don't know. Ignore my fake French. Apparently we put too much French accent on things as English people. Uh, I won't go into that, but it's something I read about recently. There's a lot of French words we say really French, but they're not actually said that way in French at all. But anyway. So this is the last sub box um, for March, and it got shipped out a little late because she was waiting for an item to come in. Um, but as you can see, it is carousel themed, and I'm sure you've seen everything. So this is the box usually gets to me a little crumpled, but this time the sides aren't crushed in, so that's nice. I didn't realize it said, oh, volume five. I haven't been keeping the boxes at all, so I just, I don't need the boxes. <laughs> I'm not that kind of collector. And then you just have a journaling card with everything that comes in it. Uh, so let's go through the items. I'm not huge on this color theme. I think this would have been so cute if instead of the green it was purple like a like a lavender. Uh. <laughs> I've done that noise a lot this today, but um, I think that would have been lucky, but obviously she wanted something a bit different. So I think this is the item that held up the box. It's just a little cloth pouch. It has simply gilded, kind of stuck onto it. Um, and it's just a little coin purse uh, with sort of a sash and gold on the inside. To be honest, I could probably do without this. I really just still want the washi. And a lot of the threading is like not very good, you can see here. And I don't know. <laughs> I suppose like Kali and some other people were mentioning you could put jewelry in it while you're traveling and I, and I guess so. But I don't know, I don't really have a big need for it so I don't really need this to be honest. I could do without it. Uh, and then we have the journaling card which I don't know, people collect these as well like five dollars a pop and it's got mental guys. It's got insane. Um, I shouldn't say that because that's ableist, but it's gone over the top, you know, <laughs> in terms of collecting. But that is the journaling card with a little black and rainbow pony, which is so cute. They'd be so cute on my leg. Ugh, I'm so sad. <laughs> then you have a little journaling, um, not journaling, you have a little pocket size uh, dot grid notebook really cute. I just keep all of these in my current pocket note. I don't actually use them but they're cute. I'm not going to unwrap these things because th you've seen them. <laughs> then you've got the sheet of stickers which are more like thick cardboardy. I am actually wanting to use these uh, coming up. I'm going to try and use them all up. I've got a few, you know, every box I've got them. And I want to use them as like leftover spread things in my B6TN so look forward to that because I know I want to use these things like I am not I don't want to be hoarder especially if I'm going to be moving overseas possibly next year possibly this year so um I want to use this stuff up. This is the stickers. I actually really love this item so I'm going to take it out. This is uh, from Happy Scrappy, which I've never purchased from. I think I got a slightly different one. I feel like uh, other people said that they got a white band with like iridescent glitter around it, but this is just a straight up silver one. So I don't know. Did I get something different, you guys, if you got the box? I got a slightly different buyer. Maybe she ran out of ribbon. 
Um, but you had like a double pink bow with this sort of silver ribbon through the middle. Some thread coming out. Oh no, that's glue. Yeah. Anyway, and then you get the little dangly star on the bottom. I really love the dangly star. That's cute, although it's got schmutz on it. I think it scratched itself up. Anyway, and then you have the little lobster claw, so it's like a little charm for your TN or whatever. I'll just put that down there. So let me know if you got a different ribbon, because I feel like everyone's saying that, that. I've seen everyone have like a white ribbon with iridescent, and this is just straight up silver. So let me know. I mean, it doesn't matter either way. And then we have the star of the show, the washi. Blip. Um, I mean, I'm probably gonna keep them all. I'll just show you here. Try to keep the glare away. Try and focus. Oh my God. <laughs> there we go. You can kind of see all of them. They've got, I think they all have gold foil. Yes, they're all hot gold. You have the bows with the peachy pink and the um, polka dots, which I know everyone's going nuts over. And I'm a bow collector. I just think they're much easier to bring into spreads. That's why I like the bows. Then you have the confetti dots. I really love these ones as well. Really pretty. And you have the more closer themed ones. You have the carousel horses, some stripes, and these are words. So let's play down. It says discover, laugh, believe, wonder, magic, imagine. Well, these are better words than the rainbow box where they said like health bills, <laughs> which I'm like, well, I can't use that. But um, it's got more of a different blue, which is interesting. But those are the washies, which if you want to see them all um, laid out flat, I would watch Holly Plans whole. But yeah, otherwise, I, I don't think they're that bad. I just don't know if I'm going to use these colors a lot. But we'll see. I know. I find it a bit stressful, like, trading in things, so I don't know. Plus, everyone only wants the bow. They don't want the other things. Because people are... People are funny. So that is the Simply Gilded sub box and I'm really enjoying the sub box and her stuff is so hard to get now that I'm not I'm not unsubscribing. I can't. I need the washies. <laughs> so if you are looking to subscribe, go on her website and she has a little wait list. And then the waiting list gets emailed when slots are open. I know April's all gone now, but she said she's opening a few more in May and then a bunch more in June. So definitely keep an eye out for that if you want to subscribe. But that is my whole haul. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more hauls in the future. I'm knocking the camera. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you thought down below and I'll see you next time. Bye!